In this video, we're going to go over graphing rational functions, and in this case, one with a slant or oblique asymptote. Slant asymptotes are the same thing as oblique asymptotes. Before we look at this example here, I want to go over that there are four points to graphing rational expressions, or four things to pay attention to. I've gone over this in some earlier videos on graphing rational expressions. If you're not familiar with these, I'd suggest either going to those videos and particularly the first one and learning more about these four points, the fourth one's down low, uh, or pausing on this video and writing some of these down. The four things to do in graphing a rational expression include simplifying the equation, identifying the excluded values, which will give us vertical asymptotes and holes, identifying horizontal asymptotes or slant asymptotes or oblique asymptotes, and then identifying the x and y intercepts. You can certainly do this in any order that you want. This is just an order I found that works well for me. So here's a function x squared plus 1 over x minus 2. There's no way we can reduce this or simplify this, so that's taken care of. Let's look for excluded values. The denominator can't be 0. If x were 2, that would make it 0. So we have an excluded value at x equals 2. We want to look for vertical asymptotes. Well, since uh, this is an excluded value, this would be a good place to start. And we didn't reduce anything out. We know there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2, and there are no holes. Again, we didn't reduce anything out. Uh, horizontal asymptote or slant asymptote, we want to pay attention to the exponents, uh, the leading exponents in the numerator and denominator. The leading one in the numerator is 2, the one in the, the denominator is 1. So the numerator is greater than the denominator by 1. And that happens to fit this situation here, uh, that if n equals m plus 1, then there's a slant asymptote at y equals the quotient of this rational expression without the remainder. Okay, so this is greater than this by 1. So what we want to do is find what happens when we divide uh, x squared plus 1 by x minus 2. We could do long division. Well, we need to fill in some blanks there. We need to have some placeholders, 0, x plus 1. We could do long division. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do synthetic division here. We're going to take 2 put it in a half box there. And this, uh, with the placeholders, would be x squared plus 0x plus 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here, a 0 here, and a 1 here. Skip a line, draw a line. Bring that 1 straight down. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. So my quotient here, when I divide this, is going to be x plus 2 with a remainder of 5 over x minus 2. And we're not going to concern ourselves with the remainder. We're just interested in this. Well, uh, if there's a slant asymptote, there's no horizontal asymptote. So there's a slant asymptote at y equals x plus 2. So cleaning this off, we've got the information we need. Uh, we need to consider x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Well, for the x-intercept, we set the numerator to 0. So we can go x squared plus 1 equals 0. We subtract 1 from both sides. We get x squared is negative 1. Uh, there are no real values here that satisfy this, so there are no x-intercepts, none. And for the y-intercepts, we set equal to x equal to 0 throughout the equation here. So we get 0, well, squared plus 1 over 0 minus 2, which is equal to 1 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 1 half. So we have a y-intercept. Uh, in a y-intercept, x would be 0, and the y is negative 1 half. So we have the information we need to graph. 
Uh, I would highly recommend using a graphing calculator here uh, to confirm what you find by going through all this. And here's what the graph would look like. We've got a slant asymptote here at y equals x plus 2, just like that. We've got a vertical asymptote here at x equals 2. We have a y-intercept of 0, negative a half. And from a graphing calculator, you could either you can get the points out and plot them and then connect the dots. If you don't have a graphing calculator, uh, you can make an XY table of values and then literally plot the points. I hope you found this to be a helpful video on slant asymptotes and graphing rational functions. Thanks for watching.